Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option the 2019 Nissan Sentra SL. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2019 Nissan Sentra sedan is offered in S, SV, SR, SR Turbo, Nismo, and SL trim levels. The basic S is a bargain, but it doesn't lack for features. Moving up to the SV, SR, and SL trim levels gets you additional amenities, while the SR Turbo and Nismo trims are equipped similarly to the SR, but get a more powerful engine and other sport-enhancing modifications. We can also see that the starting MSRP for the Nissan Sentra is $17,790. They're seating for five. Uh, your fuel economy, your, miles, your, your, your gas mileage is 29 miles to the gallon in the city. 37 miles to the gallon on the highway. Now, the Nissan Sentra, they offer a range of engines ranging from 124 horsepower for the base model on up to 188 horsepower for the SR Turbo and Nismo models. For most economy sedan shoppers, I think the Sentra SR will work out well. It features modern technology with enough luxury conveniences to ease the daily grind. Compared to the SV and S models, the SR features LED headlights, adaptive cruise control, and heated seats. I, however, need leather in my life, and as such, while we will look at all configurations and trim levels of the 2019 Nissan Sentra, which we're kind of doing right now, this build and price review will be about the Nissan Sentra SL because it has leather seats and the Bose Premium Audio. Now, here's the funny thing. Now, if you watch any of my build and price reviews, you know I normally go for the sportiest versions. So I might have normally have gone for the Nismo or the SR Turbo. The thing is, neither one of them get leather seats. And I really want leather seats. The SL does not get the same engine. It gets a lower horsepower motor, but that's okay. It's okay. For $23,000, you get a Bose Premium Audio, leather-appointed seats, power-sliding moonroof, fog lights, low beam headlights, you name it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through this build and price review. We're going to learn all about the uh, brand new 2019 Nissan Sentra. Sentra. We're going to check the gallery, the features, the performance, the specs, and then we're going to build and price our SL. If you like the way I build and press, price this SL, I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can download the build summary. All right, let's go. First thing they want to tell us about is their Nissan Intelligent Mobility. These are technologies that connect you to the world and great fuel economy. That's just a start. So let's find out a little bit about this Nissan Intelligent Mobility and what it does. So basically they're saying here, Nissan Intelligent Mobility with available, that means optional, automatic emergency braking, blind spot warning, and rear cross traffic alert. You'll enjoy driving with more confidence, exhilaration, and freedom. So are they saying that Nissan Intelligent Mobility uh, com uh, has the suite of safety features? Is that the deal? Well, let's start by checking the features, and we'll start with Nissan Intelligent Mobility so we can find out exactly what it is, what it does, and why they're making a big deal about it. It says, with available Nissan Intelligent Mobility features, you can drive with more awareness of your surroundings, get an assist when you need it, and enjoy seamless connectivity to your world. It's tomorrow's technology in your driveway right now. So yeah, it's kind of like how I thought. So the Nissan Intelligent Mobility is a suite of safety features that, that can help save you, keep you out of an accident, keep you safe. So let's go through, find out what all these safety features are exactly. First up is Intelligent Cruise Control. It says available Intelligent Cruise Control watches the flow of traffic to take the tedium out of your morning commute. The system helps maintain an adjustable speed and set distance between you and the car ahead. Now, it doesn't say anything about that it can come to a complete stop and, and do all of that, but it's got some intelligent cruise control, and that's part of one of the thing, one of the safety features that's part of this Nissan Intelligent Mobility. Additional driver assist technology would uh, be automatic emergency braking, blind spot warning, and rear cross traffic alert. I'm sure they're going to tell us a little bit about each one. So automatic emergency braking can help save you from a potential frontal collision. It is looking, it monitors your speed and distance between you and the car ahead and can let you know if you need to slow down, right? 
If you can, uh, and it can automatically engage the brakes to help you avoid a collision or lessen the severity of an impact. So if you're following too close and you haven't slowed down and whatever, whatever, this thing can intervene. It is active technology. Active means that the car can do something. It can steer for itself or hit the brakes or, or, or turn or whatever. Then we have the blind spot warning. Available blind spot warning helps you change lanes with confidence. It keeps an eye on the blind spot area and gives you a heads up if it detects a vehicle hiding there. I love um, blind spot warning. I also love rear cross traffic alert. That's when you're at the grocery store, any parking lot, and you're backing out. You know you can't see. Cars are flying down the aisle or whatever. This is what that's all about. This can warn you about cars. It detects creeping up on you from either side. So that's the rear cross traffic alert. And that's one of the, these are the three uh, safety features that's part of the Nissan Intelligent Mobility. I don't know if there's more. Let's look. Okay, I guess that was it. The Nissan Intelligent Mobility consists of those, those safety features we just went through. So next up is technology, connected technology for life on the go. Available Nissan Intelligent Mobility technologies to connect you to the world and send help on command. Sentra proves the future gets around on four wheels. So I guess the Nissan Intelligent Mobility also comes into their their uh, infotainment, I guess. Okay, so here they're telling us that it's a 7-inch touchscreen display with apps and more. There's hands-free Bluetooth calling. There's music and charging, right? Charging with multiple USB ports. Let's find out some more. Actually, before we move on, let's take a look at this screen really quick. Look at the resolution. The resolution of this looks very nice. And think about the price point. The resolution looks very nice. So Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So available, <clears throat> which means it's optional. Android Auto compatibility lets you uh, get where you're going with Google Maps, uh, your music. You can change your destination, respond to text messages, all that kind of stuff. Apple CarPlay, same deal. You can work with Siri, check your, you do your playlist, Apple Maps, all that stuff there. And you can do it all through the steering wheel controls, apparently. So you simply plug in your compatible phone to your data cable thing and into the USB, and I guess you're up and running. Uh, so yeah, available Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. That's nice. So drive advanced drive assist display, turn by turn directions, hand free text messaging assist, safety alerts, and more. The available advanced drive assist display puts it all right before your eyes on a five inch color display. Let's get a closer look of this five inch color display. All right, so right here is where it's going to be your little information system kind of tells you everything going on. Look at this. This looks like the blind spot monitoring indicator over here. I'm not sure what that – oh, this might be the intelligent cruise control with the following distance. So remember, that intelligent Nissan Intelligent Mobility was like four things. It was like the cruise control um, and, and so, like three other things. And so, yeah, a lot going on in here. My question is, is there a digital speedometer that, that, that resides in here? Because I love digital speedometers. That's what I want to know. Is there a digital speedometer? They've got a couple more images. Here's another shot. And then here's another shot showing uh, the music being shown, which your music is being played, and some driving aids right here. So that's pretty cool. That's nice. Gives us a few screenshots of what uh, this little uh, drive display sit looks like and what it can do. Premium features elevate the drive. Available convenient technology. Uh, makes it all worthwhile. The kind of touches you expect in a luxury car are within reach in Nissan Sentra. So we've already talked about the Nissan Intelligent Mobility. We already talked about the technology. We just went through that. Now we're on to premium interior. So now we're going to learn about the premium interior in this, well, car that it costs just a little bit of money. It's not a lot of money, under $30,000. So Bose Premium Audio, designed expressively for your interior. The available Bose Premium Audio System Fill Sentra with great sound from eight individually tuned speakers, including dual woofers for an unmatched audio experience. And the car's cabin is not that big, so it probably sounds very good in there, which is why I wanted this particular model, because it comes with the Bose Premium Audio and leather seats. All right, what's all this here? So starting from the left, Nissan Intelligent Key with push-button ignition. So no fumbling for a key. This available feature lets you lock and unlock the doors or trunk and drive away, all without removing the key fob from your pocket or purse. Then there's a rear view camera. Double check and double check. Double check your double check. <laughs> when you engage reverse, Sentra's rear view monitor helps you see what's directly behind you. And then over here to the far right, you got an auto dimming rear view mirror with HomeLink Universal Transceiver. That's like the garage door opener thing where you can 
code the rearview mirror to open your garage door because there's little buttons there that can be coded. And then it's got the auto dimming rearview mirror that detects the glare and automatically tilts to reduce glare and enhance your rear visibility, which is really cool. What else we got here? Dual zone automatic temperature control, right? You like it warm? Your front passenger likes it cool. No problem. With this available feature, separate controls so each of you dial in your setting. And then you've got heated front seats, right? And then you have heated mirrors, heated outside mirrors. Dissipate snow, heat, heat or mist, all that kind of stuff. You get a little ice on your windows, that'll get it all off of there. Heated side mirrors. All right, now they want to tell us about the cargo. The cargo capacity and the utility of the 2019 Nissan Sentra, right? So let's go over this feature. It says here the trunk cargo capacity is 15.1 cubic feet. It's got a split rear seat that's a 60-40. And it's got cargo capacity in the rear seats. If the rear seats are down, the overall cargo capacity becomes 74.1 cubic feet. Seems like a lot to me. I don't know. It says, amazing flexibility. Sentra has plenty of room for friends with generous trunk space for cargo. And when you need room for more stuff, Sentra accommodates in seconds. Let's see what they're talking about. All right, so they're going to show us some layouts for their utility. So here's the 60-40 seat. Here's one side. This will be the 40 side split, uh, folded down. And then here's with the rear seats down all the way. And then maximum cargo. Oh, check it out. Maximum cargo is you can put the front seat down and take the headrest out. Look at that. Boom. Maximum cargo. Good deal. 60-40. Rear seats down. Maximum cargo. Right? Pretty cool. It says with all passenger seats down, you've got maximum cargo space to load longer items, including an 8-foot ladder. Okay. There's some advanced Nissan safety features. What if you had the confidence you need for every part of your drive? Nissan takes a comprehensive approach to safety that guides the engineering and development of every vehicle that they make. So we've got quite a few little bullets here. And so I'm not going to read all the paragraph, but we're just going to go over the high points. So six standard airbags. This is part of the Nissan Advanced Safety Features for the 2019 Nissan Sentra. All right, just so you know where we're at. <laughs> six standard airbags. An anti-lock braking system. Vehicle dynamic control, right? Now, some of these I might read because this is interesting. What, how does this work? Because we know how ABS works. It's been around forever. The standard vehicle dynamic control system helps keep you on your steering, steered course while adjusting for oversteer and understeer. So, hmm, that must do some, auto, some like automatic braking or something like that. They don't go into it, but that's pretty cool. Vehicle dynamic control, so that can help get you out of a sticky situation if you lose control of the car coming into a turn too hot, for instance. Traction control system. Intelligent auto headlights. Now, what's this? Sentra's headlights will turn on automatically when visibility is reduced, so it's at dusk, or if the weather turns dark or cloudy. Then there's the tire pressure monitoring system with easy fill alert, and it's got something I really like, right? It lets you takes the guesswork out of filling your tires with a beep of a horn when you've reached the correct pressure. How cool is that? How cool is that? What it doesn't tell you is which tire is low. All right. It doesn't say that it tells you which tire is low. It just lets you know that when you get to the right pressure, it'll beep the horn, which I think is still cool, though. That's still cool. And then last but not least, there's the uh, as part of this Nissan Advanced Safety Features, there's the, this whole the latch system. And this is where you can connect car seats and all that. Everybody kind of understands that. Every manufacturer has to have these down in the back seats so you can latch the car to the, the car seat to the car. And so everybody pretty much lets you know that they have it, but everybody has to have it. Okay, FYI. What we didn't do was look at the gallery. So let's check the gallery really fast. We'll do a little spin around of the 2019 Nissan Sentra. It's not a bad looking car. It's not a bad looking car at all. All right, let's move on. Oh, we can uh, we can take a look at exterior colors. So the color that they're showing right now is Aspen White. And then there's the Brilliant Silver Metallic. And then there's the Super Black. There's a Deep Blue Pearl. There is a scarlet ember tin coat that I would just like to call red. And then they have a color called fresh powder. Then they have a color called gunmetal. And then they have a color that's called red alert. They got quite a few colors, don't they? And I think we're back to the beginning. Yeah. And then back to the beginning with Aspen White. Here's some nice interior photos. This is the Nissan Sentra SL shown in charcoal leather. Right, we got eight photos to go through real quick. You can see down here in the bottom right corner where I'm highlighting, 
they give us a little snippet of information about the, the pitcher, if you want to take a look at that. Uh, here's an SR Turbo. Kind of looks nice. We're not going to do the turbo, but I like the engine. I don't like the features that come with the turbo, so we're not going to worry about the turbo, even though I think it's nice. I think the turbo is cool, but I like leather. I like leather. All right, here's a SR, shown, SR Turbo shown in Aspen White. The Sentra looks pretty good. I actually like the Sentra. It looks really nice. All right, let's move on. Let's see. Sentra exterior design cuts through convention. With exterior cues like aggressive front and rear fascias and sweeping headlights, Sentra makes a break from the pack. <clears throat> it is nice looking. I, I was noticing that. So it is very attractive. So let's see what they're talking about. So it says uh, LED low beam headlights. Available LED low beam projector headlights. Enhance your line of sight and add a fresh modern design cue. Moonroof. See the stars and feel the sun. Sentra's available powered moonroof. Tilts and slides at the touch of a button. 17-inch alloy wheels, right? Uh, make a statement every time the rubber hits the road with available 10-spoke, 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels with continental tires on them, I can see. Sentra's got an aggressive grill with a distinct honeycomb pattern. Fog lights, style makes function with Sentra's available fog lights, which create a low Y projection to help increase visibility in many conditions. LED tail lights, Sentra's boomerang inspired LED tail lights add a, fr a flash of style to the night. Now over here, they're talking about their track inspired design. Sentra SR Turbo boasts a sleek aerodynamic silhouette which slips through the wind with aggressive track inspired 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels for an overall sporty profile. Like I said, I do like the Turbo. I wish the Turbo came with leather. The Turbo should come with leather. All right, let's check out some interior stuff. All right. Touchscreen display. The 7-inch touchscreen display is designed to seamlessly integrate into the dash and position within easy reach. Oh, a 370Z-inspired steering wheel. Put a touch of our performance history in your hands with this available sporty steering wheel inspired by the legendary Nissan 370Z. Piano black trim and metallic accents. Small touches throughout the cabin help turn your experience into something new. Available chrome accents and piano black trim at a level of sophistication throughout. In Sentra, you have a bright, airy interior with spacious rear leg room and surprising cargo flexibility, right? Thanks to 60-40 split rear seats and a fold-down front passenger seat. So this is roomy seating with ample leg room. Looks like it's kind of stadium seating, too. Does that back seat look like it's sitting up a little bit higher than the front seats? Is that stadium seating going on? Ergonomic shift lever. Boy, they didn't have anything. They got to let you know that the, er that the shift lever feels good on your hand. <laughs> Ergonomic shift lever. The ergonomic shift lever... Fits comf oh, it does say that. <laughs> Fits comfortably in your hand for intuitive shifting. Advanced drive assist display. We already learned a little bit about it, but we'll read this again. Central's available advanced drive assist display puts the information you demand right before your eyes on its clear 5-inch colored display. Oh, check this out. What's this? Uh, Centra SR exclusive blue stitching. Centra SR and Centra SR Turbo feature bolstered seats with premium charcoal sport cloth, or black leather appointments accented with subtle blue stitching for a hint of contrast and plenty of style. Well, guess what, folks? Now, I could either A, start this whole video over, or B, make an ex executive decision and say that I want to get an SR Turbo because now I just discovered that it has leather appointments on the seats. Maybe, maybe. Now, does that mean full leather or does that mean just a little bit? So maybe we might change. Maybe we won't. We'll probably just stick with what we're doing. But I think that's interesting. I think that's interesting. I like that you can get leather now. That helps. Okay, so they're going to show us a little bit with their interiors. This is cool. Nissan Sentra interior color and fabric. So this is the charcoal leather, right? This is the charcoal leather. Now, this comes in the SL. This comes in the SL. And the SL, well, that's the one that we're going to be taking a look at. That's what this video was all about. This is the building price of the 2019 Nissan Sentra SL. This is the interior of that. Now, if this is the interior of the Nismo, right now it's all cloth and super sporty looking, which we would expect, right? Now, here's the charcoal sport leather, and this is what comes in the SR and SR Turbo. So, okay, now this is cool. Now, but can you get the, can you get the Bose Premium? In the SR Turbo. Now, if you can get the Bose Premium in the SR Turbo, now we're really talking here. Now we're really, really, really talking. All right. So, uh, yeah, Charcoal Premium. This is the Charcoal Premium with the Sport Cloth, and this is the Charcoal Premium Cloth. So, 
I'm really happy to see that the charcoal sport leather is available on the turbo. I'm really, really excited. I think we're going to have to build a turbo. I really think we're going to have to build a turbo. All right, so we went through all the features. We went through the gallery. Now we're going to talk about performance, all right? So the 2019 Nissan Central Performance, there's a few tabs to go through. Engine, Central SR Turbo, so they're going to get real specific about the car that, well, now we're going to build in price. Uh, the transmission, drive modes, and handling. So let's begin. Power that impresses. Central pushes forward with excellent fuel economy, sleek aerodynamics, and available turbocharged power. Remember, it's got a range of engines that range from 124 horsepower to 188 horsepower for the now turbo engine that I'm happy to say we're going to be getting in our SR Turbo. I really like this car. I like it better than the SL because it's got that sporty little look. I like sport. You know this. Okay. And then the torque ranges are from 125 pound-feet of torque up to 177 pound-feet of torque. So surely that turbocharged engine makes 188 horsepower and 177 pound-feet of torque. Now, this fuel economy, are they basing that off of the base off the of off, off the base engine? They probably are. So the fuel economy is 29 miles to the gallon on this in the city and 37 miles to the gallon on the highway and that's probably for the base engine. That's probably not for this turbo motor. Okay, so tell us about this Centra's four-cylinder 1.8 liter engine. Miles, performance, fun. Centra provides more of each with a standard this is your standard engine. 1.8 liter engine team with a virtually gearless CVT transmission, which stands for continuously variable transmission to help maximize efficiency. Now, these, these CVT transmissions, they've been sketchy over the years at all across different manufacturers. Here in 2019, have they finally started getting that right to where they don't feel so sketchy anymore? Who knows? Who knows? We won't worry about that, though. And here it is. It makes 124 horsepower, this base engine, this 1.8 liter. It makes 125 pound-feet of torque, and yep, it gets 29 miles to the gallon in the city and 37 miles to the gallon on the highway. Ah, I'm so glad we switched. Okay, the Sentra SR Turbo. Now we get a 1.6 liter engine and that makes 50% more horsepower than the other Sentra models, right? Now you can get that CVT transmission, so you can get it with an automatic, with a manual shift mode, or you can just get it with, uh, with stick. I think it also comes in a manual, just a manual um, gearbox as well. Um, and it's got a leather wrapped steering wheel and 17-inch alloy wheels. I'm excited. And look, it gets 188 horsepower, gets 177 pound-feet of torque, and it gets 23 miles, I'm sorry, 27 miles to the gallon in the city and 33 miles to the gallon on the highway. For me, all my cars have always sucked a whole bunch of gas, so that would be the best gas mods I ever got by a lot. So <laughs> it wouldn't matter if it gets not as good a gas mod as the base engine. It's still very good to me. Oh, here's some more stuff about that engine. So they... Um, spray coated and mirror finished the cylinder bores to reduce friction and heat, allowing the engine to spin more freely. And then it's got a low inertia turbocharger, so it spools up faster for quick engine response and linear acceleration. And then there's a low pressure cooled EGR, promotes, high promotes higher fuel efficiency without sacrificing performance. If you don't know, EGR stands for Exhaust Gas Recirculation. It's like usually a valve or something like that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure EGR still stands for Exhaust Gas Recirculation. All right, tell us about this transmission. Virtually gearless Xtronic CVT. The available Xtronic CVT features pre-programmed shift points, offering a traditional transmission feel that's fun to drive while providing impressive fuel efficiency. I, would, I wouldn't turn, a, turn away this transmission. Now, we're going to get the SR Turbo, and we're going to put ours in the uh, CVT transmission. Uh, if you like to keep control in your own hands, Central SR Turbo offers the SR Turbo exclusive CVT with manual shift mode. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know if you can get a standard gearbox or not. Maybe you can't. Maybe it only comes with either, you know, two versions of the CVT. We'll find out when we get to the building price, of course. All right, check it out. So there's some eco and sport modes. With the simple push of a button, you can custom tailor the Sentra to match your mood. The fuel-efficient eco mode comes standard. Sportier models instead offer sport mode for more for a for more a thrilling drive. Sport mode for more a thrilling drive. For a more a thrilling drive. I think they got a typo in right there. I'm pretty sure, huh? Down here on the left, there's eco mode. Eco mode adjusts engine and transmission response to maximize fuel efficiency. It also adjusts the air conditioning for less draw on the power. And then here's a sport mode where they're showing the Nismo here. Curvy roads ahead. Mm -hmm. Active sport mode and rev up your uh, activate sport mode and rev up your senses thanks to a more uh, responsive throttle, sharpened engine, 
And then, of course, that CVT transmission. So maybe you only get the CVT transmission. Maybe that's the only transmission you get. Okay, last for the handling section, we're going to talk about the uh, suspension. Central suspension includes front and rear uh, spring tuning and damper tuning to, to deliver impressive handling. The stiff chassis allows for more fun to drive ride with exceptional control. Let's take a better look at this photo if we can. All right, so there's a good shot of the picture. Active, I'm saying, active understeer control. Get a smoother, more controlled, and more comfortable and comfortable ride when you take a corner. The available system senses understeering over. Oh, yeah, we talked about this one. And subtly applies the brakes. See, they didn't say that last time. Helping to give you sharper handling. So that's cool. So if you're if you're getting into the corners way too crazy, the car is paying attention and can help you. That's why it says active understeer control. It can use the brakes to save you. Okay, let's check this Y Centra tab. We're going to go through this Y Centra tab. Why buy the Centra, I guess they're saying. And after we do that, then we're going to go build and price our SR Turbo. Because I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, to build and price that SR Turbo. So why the Nissan Centra? Let's know why. Because you know what? Here's the deal. I was just looking at the, I just did a build and price of the 2019 Hyundai Veloster Turbo Ultimate. Oh, nice car. So why would I want to get a Nissan Centra over that car? I'm going to put a link up. All right, so first up, they say Nissan versus Toyota, Hyundai, Honda, and Chevrolet. Centra, unleveling the playing field. So value, advanced technology, interior roominess, and Bose audio system. Okay, so that was the tab. So first up is value. Let's find out about the value of the 2019 Nissan Centra. It says, with this starting MSRP, uh, Centra makes a powerful first impression. Centra redefines what a sedan can be at a starting MSRP that you'd only expect to find in a subcompact. It has a lower starting MSRP than a 2018 Honda Civic and 2019 Toyota Corolla. All right. Okay. Next up is interior. It says, Centra is a compact car, but you might just have to take our word for it. It seats up to five comfortably. It has 111 cubic feet of interior space and more front row head and leg room than the 2018 Honda Civic, 2018 Honda Elantra, and 2019 Toyota Corolla. Right? So, it has front row headroom is 39.4 inches, and the legroom is 42.5 inches. And we can see the rest of the specs right here on what the Honda, uh, Honda Civic, Honda Elantra, and the Toyota Corolla give you. Moving on to technology now. It says the 2019 Sentra offers available blind spot warning and rear cross traffic alert, two features that just aren't available on any 29 Toyota Corolla trim. All right. So they're letting you know. We got title to beat on that one all day. It says experience intelligent driving. It says the 2019 Nissan Sentra offers an available intelligent cruise control that helps keep you, that helps keep, that helps maintain a set distance, right? We know about their cruise control. All right. It's not available on the Chevy Cruze sedan. So it's it's picking apart the cars that it's competing against one by one. Some of some of them, some of these cars have the features, others it doesn't. So it's letting you know that it's a very well-rounded vehicle. It's a very well-rounded vehicle. And then they're talking about their cool tire pressure monitoring system, which actually I do like, even though it doesn't seem that it tells you um, what tire. It's still cool. It says, with the available class-exclusive Easy Fill Tire Alert, Centra's hazard lights blink as you fill up the tires. And then the horn gives a little beep when you reach the right pressure. That's not available on any of the other competition. All right. I think we saw everything we need to see. I think we're ready for the build-in price. So let's scroll down here and select our model. There's the S, the SV, the SR, and here's the SR Turbo. All right, the SR Turbo, key features. It's got that turbo engine. It's got the CVT uh, transmission with the manual shift mode that's exclusive to this car. It's got the LED headlights, LED low beam projector headlights with LED accents, power sliding moonroof with tilt feature, and it's got heated front seats. So... This is the one we're going to go with. It's got a starting MSRP at $22,570. Let's jump into it. All right, let's pick colors. Let's pick colors. What color do I want? I kind of like the red. Where was that one red? It was Red Alert, although this looks orange now. But I'm going to go with Red Alert. Let's do Red Alert. Okay, I like Red Alert. Let's do that. And what else? We're going to bump up with the charcoal sport leather. Now, let's take a look now. Our, our price right now is 23465 Now, if we do this charcoal leather, what are we jumping to? Um, now, we are also going to add the premium package. 
And so our new price will be $25,000 for this car. Well, almost $26,000 for this car. We'll be moving on to packages next. So we'll find out what's all in the premium package. All right. So go ahead and confirm. Boom. Got that. We're at $25,000. Let's move on to packages. Yay. It's the package I want because it's got the bows in there. So I'm real happy. So at the end of the day, we're able to get we're a, we're able to basically get an SL, right? The Nissan Sentra SL. Why did I want to get the Nissan Sentra SL? Because it had leather and the bow stereo. I didn't know that it had that the SR Turbo had leather and all that. Why? Because I actually do these building prices with you guys. So I can discover them too, right along with you. And that's why it's exciting. Sometimes I know, sometimes I don't. So this time I didn't know. And so now. Now I really have the Nissan Sentra that I want because now I've got that Bose, the sport leather seats, and I've got the blind spot warning, all, all the stuff that they offer, right? And now we're into this thing for $25,735. It's not a lot of money, I think. I think it's reasonable. Okay, now what we need to do is go through these accessories. We're just going to try to run through them. Uh, external ground lighting right down here. That looks kind of cool. Let's do that for fun. Right now, remember, all this stuff's optional. You don't have to choose any of these things. Carpeted trunk and floor mats. I don't want a carpeted trunk mat, but I wouldn't mind having the carpeted mats. But let's see what other options they have here. Uh, fog lights. We have fog lights on ours. Electronics package. What is that? What's the electronics package? This um, improved nighttime rear visibility and some color by adding electronics package. Frameless auto dimming rear view mirror. Uh, I don't think we in, interior accent lighting can display up to 20 colors and can set the mood. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I don't know if the electronics package is going to um, override what we're doing. Yeah, it, I thought it would. We got to remove the premium package. So, no, we're not going to do that. I didn't think so. But we will take these illuminated kick plates. I like those for 370. That's fun. Uh, I don't think we're going to mess with any more exterior package stuff. What's the impact sensor? What's this all about? What's the impact sensor? Provides a quick chirp of the horn when a small impact is detected. Full alarm act activated when attempted wheel theft or break-in is detected. Yeah, I want the impact sensor. Let's do that. I want an impact sensor. Um, oh, the SR Turbo Sill plates. I want those instead of these other illuminated ones. Let's remove the illuminated ones, although they are nice and classy. Let's go for the SR Turbo Sill plates instead. And we don't need that trunk net. I do like these sport pedals. Those are fun. Thought this car should already have them. Uh, what else? Body side moldings? No. Interior lighting? Nah. The bumper stuff? We won't worry about any of that. Moon roof def deflector? Uh, we'll do the wheel locks. It's cheap security. Um, there's those carpeted floor mats. We'll grab those. They don't look like they have any winter mat versions. Oh, <laughs> They have the ones that say SR Turbo. Let's remove those. Let's get the ones that say SR Turbo on them. Let's get those. Those look more fun. Um, we'll skip the valve caps. Oh, there's our all-season mats. Let's grab those for a buck twenty. Uh, there's an SR Turbo carpet, but I want a trunk protector. That's what I want. I want the trunk protector. That's like so you get spills or anything in there. Uh, Nissan Wi-Fi, nah. Travel cleanup pack, nah. First aid kits, nah. Airbag theft bolt, I don't see why. Um, and skip all that. All right. Well, we went through all the accessories. Let's go over to the uh, let's go over to the summary. All right. So we came to twenty, just under twenty-seven thousand dollars when we threw up all those accessories. All right. If we scroll down, we can see uh, everything. Car started at twenty-two five seventy. We got that package for twenty-two seventy, and then we got all these accessories, and then we came out with just under twenty-seven thousand dollars. So. I've already printed off and downloaded the build and price summary. So if you like the build and price on this SR Turbo, you can download the uh, build summary in the description below. Other than that, if you made it to the end, you're super awesome. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, have a very nice day.